Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to NVP. Oh, I was so busy recently with the Articuno and the Squirter Community Day event. Uh, I haven't been uploading, but you know what? I'm back. All right, I'm going to be uploading and talking about the Venusaur team that we just built. All right, I just want to say, all right, thank you guys for the support of my first episode. I'm really happy with the support and encouragement that you guys have given me, and. Uh, for those people who haven't checked out the episode, all right, please check out the first episode and give me more feedback, man. Because I I love feedback. I I really love feedback. Okay, <laughs> so uh, before we begin talking about the Venusaur team that we've built, all right, I just want to address some of the concerns that you guys have given me from my first episode. So some of you have asked me, what is PVP, all right, and uh, why 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 do I want to PVP? Okay, so I'm just going to explain in layman terms to you guys who want to know the answer to this question. PvP stands for player versus player. Okay, and in the main series game, it was a core feature, and it is still a core feature of the main Pokemon series game. Pokemon Go, at the moment, it is, you know, uh, uh, really about the interaction. And now we have come to get trading and, and, and every other thing that, that increases the interaction. But you know, it's not enough, right? Have you ever wondered to yourself, I've been playing Pokemon Go for close to two years and more. And why is there no ranking system? And specifically, we need a ranking system between players. Okay, i not talking about Valor versus Mystic and Instinct. You know, just 1v1, you and me. Let's go! <laughs> okay, Pokemon Go has just come to a point where players are just making their own goals about the game right now. And some of the goals include collecting shinies of every gender, color, and shape and size. And uh, 100 IV Mons, uh, you know, from the raids or from the WoW. But we don't know what to do with all these Pokemon that we have. Okay, we see the same Pokemon being used in raids, in the gyms. And the battling strategy is just so limited. And stagnant. This is why PvP can be a feature to put rank into Pokemon Go and reward players who come up with interesting and unique battling strategies. And the possible rewards can be, you know, a Master Ball, uh, the IV increasing items, Poke Coins, so that we don't have to fight anymore, and even special TMs to allow for our Pokemon to learn new moves. Alright, I'm done talking about PvP, alright? I just feel like it should be in the game and it is such a long time, you know? We should, we, we definitely need PvP, okay? <laughs> so, before we get down to today's episode of the uh, Venusaur team, alright? I'm going to explain my methodology so that you guys can understand like how did I conduct this experiment and how I tested my hypothesis, okay? So, number one. This is going to be a comparison of our Venusaur team versus the current meta attackers, okay? So, you know, people like to bring a team of like full-on 6 Dragonites, alright? For my side, I will be using 400 IV Rayquazas that are max level, okay? Level 40 and 2 level 40 Dragonites as well with the optimum moveset, of course, okay? And secondly, the move sets and the order of the gym defenders were not chosen. Okay, I didn't go and like set it up and say, okay, I want this to be this move set and that to be in this order and stuff. I didn't choose that. All right, I left it to uh, the people who put the gym's uh, defenders in, and I just fought uh, accordingly and stuff. And and all of these uh, uh, battles with my team, uh, the Venusaur team, were usually taken with just one one take. Okay, thirdly, is that the, for the rules of engagement, I am not going to be dodging, okay? I'm just going to be taking the hits, and the reason for this is because I want to exaggerate the effect of typing versus uh, using the, the technique of dodging. Of course, if you, you, if you could dodge, then your survivability will be higher in that sense, but you know, in the main game, okay, I'm just going to simulate as closely to the main game as I can because in the main game, um, missing and the probability of hits are actually calculated by the computer. So it's not up to 
the player to be able to like dodge the moves and stuff. You're supposed to like take the hits, take the hits like a man, okay? Yeah, so we're just going to be using the typing to survive and I just want to show you uh, this comparison video and let you guys make your mind and uh, think whether you think that it's, it's actually uh, interesting. Okay, so first up for number one, we're going to be fighting a Kangaskhan, a Venusaur, a Gyarados, a Dragonite, and a Snorlax, and also an Aggron. Okay, so of course in the gym, these are in order, but I'm going to be switching the Pokemon as and when I feel it's necessary to counter the, the typing and the movesets. So we're going to begin the battle right now, and the first up is of course the Kangaskhan. Okay, so uh, remember my Machem, alright? So Kangaskhan being normal typing is going to be weak against uh, fighting moves. So I send in my Machem, I switch, I, I switch up my Venusaur, send in my Machem, counter and dynamic punch. Uh, Kangaskhan, Kangaskhan can't really do anything to me. And my Machem has lots of HP left. So yeah, Kangaskhan goes down effortlessly. And now we have next uh, Venusaur. Okay, Venusaur is going to be coming in. And uh, I'm going to be switching out to my Charizard. Alright, Charizard come go! And <laughs> Charizard has uh, Fire Spin and Overheat. Uh, there's no moves on Venusaur that is able to hurt my Charizard that well. Uh, we resist all the poison and the grass moves that uh, Venusaur has. So as you can see, we take down Venusaur easily and we still have uh, more than 3 quarter health and we, we, yeah, we're doing really well. And Venusaur didn't even use the charge move on us again. So now we have a Gyarados. So you can see, I have to go to my Jolteon. Uh, my Jolteon has uh, the lightning moves, the electric moves that I'm going to be double effective against uh, Gyarados. So as you can see, I'm hitting it. And Gyarados is able to still do a chunk to my Jolteon because it's that powerful. It's that uh, uh, powerful. And it even has Hydro Pump. Like, Jolteon doesn't take that well, any, you know. But I think my Jolteon did do the work that it was assigned to, which was to take down a water attacker, and it did well. So now, against the Dragon Knight, uh, I'm gonna have to go to my Kefaber. Kefaber, being fairy typing, will resist uh, Dragon Knight's uh, dragon moves. Just take note that for some Dragon Knights, right, they carry this move known as Steel Wing. Okay, and Steel Wing is super effective against fairy. So. Be careful, and one tip that I can give you guys for knowing what moves the, de the defenders are using Basically, turn on the volume of your phone while you're playing, look at the animation And with enough experience, you'll be able to decent what moves the opponent is using Okay, but our Kefaber, that was a beast man, it took all those dragon tails And it still live with that much HP So now we're gonna go into Snorlax uh, for the defender, and I'm going to I'm going to switch up to my Machamp and try and uh, counter and uh, use Dynamic Punch on it, and and hopefully this Snorlax doesn't have uh, Body Slam because Body Slam is very irritating and it's step from Snorlax. But yeah, as you can see, this Snorlax has uh, Heavy Slam deals quite a bit to me. But yeah, I'm able to take it down easily. And now we go into the last Pokemon in the gym, which is the Aggron. And Aggron being Rock and Steel is also uh, doubly weak to fighting moves so my Machamp uh, with the counter and dynamic punch hopefully yeah can oh yeah it fainted okay then my we go into t uh, Tyranita uh, Machamp did really well and now we use the bite which is a dark move and it's a uh, neutral damage against uh, steel because steel is not easy to counter because there's a lot of things that still resist but dark just goes through like neutral damage and stuff so you can see, uh, the first, the results of the first battle comparison is already out, and we have like four Pokemon surviving on my Venusaur team. All right, and they look pretty healthy. I didn't even use my Venusaur. Wow. Okay. Uh, and look at the my Rayquaza, my 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 DPS team. All right, I'm down to one Rayquaza and two Dragonites, and yeah, you can say that. Uh, yeah, it is definitely more powerful and stuff but I say based on battling strategy the Venusaur team holds its ground well and even if the two match up right like I say that it's a success in the favor of the Venusaur team because uh, we were not using like all legendaries and we, we were using like different Pokemon and we stood our ground that was really good man
Alright, let's go on to the next battle. And over here, whoa, we have uh, quite a solid lineup of defenders from the opponent's side. Oh, we have a uh, Dragon Knight, uh, Lapras, Chansey, Rhydon, Blissey, and Faber. Okay, this is actually a, quite a solid lineup of defenders. And let's go and take a look and see how our Venusaur team does against this. And we're up first against a Dragon Knight. Okay. So as you can see, Dragonite is going to come in. I'm going to be switching out to uh, my Kefaber because, yeah, Kefaber again, that's what we have seen just now, resists the dragon moves and uh, is able to just dazzly glim the Dragon Knight, man. Look at how much Dragon Tail is doing to Kefaber, even though it's not stealing. But it's alright. Our, 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 our Kefaber will just eat it. Alright, it's eating it. Alright, you look at that. Alright, I lift a Draco Meteor. Alright, from a Dragon Knight. Alright, using a Kefaber. I lift a Dragon Draco Meteor. That's how good it is. Now we're gonna go into Lapras. Alright. And Lapras being ice and water. We're gonna switch out to my Machamp. Okay, <laughs> my Machamp. My Machamp uh, has the fighting moveset against the ice so it's going to be super effective against ice and i hope that i be able to kill it before the lepros uh, takes out my machamp because my machamp is quite important over here i have i have to fight it again i have to use it against the the, the blissy later oh my god that's going to be a lot a, a tank and now i'm up against the chansey so hopefully my machamp survives but you know chansey it has it is known to carry zen hit but zen hit but is psychic and that is why it has Zen hit, but it's supposed to be its counter against fighting types. So, Machamp, man, please, please survive, okay? Do, do as much hits as you can. Keep going, man. Uh, counter and, and Dynamic Punch the, that Chansey, okay? And, and, and do as much as you can. So, as you can see, my Machamp is in red right now. But it's actually doing really well against the Chansey. It's actually... Uh, it, I think it might be able to actually finish the Chansey before uh, Chansey kills the Machamp. Oh yeah, it did. Okay, and now, uh, yeah, we're up against the Rhydon, okay? And you know what? I'm I think I'm going to be switch. I will switch out to my Venusaur now because I want to save my uh, Machamp for the Blissey later on. I, I hope I can do a little bit more with the Machamp. I'm going to be using the Venusaur and as you can see, Vine Whip hits really hard on against... Uh, the ride on which is doubly weak against uh, uh, grass moves and look at that solar beam just takes it out one hit it didn't even get a charge move on my on my venusaur venusaur is so good all right now up against the blissy oh my god let's do this man okay so i'm going to go into machamp and of course machamp faints after one uh one hit from blissy but yeah i'm gonna go into uh charizard not that I really want to, but because I don't really have much healthy attackers left and I need to save the rest for uh, the next Pokemon. So I'm going to go into Charizard and Charizard is going to be just helping me to lo lower the Blissey's HP. This is a one strategy that you could use in uh, PvP, which is that uh, you not necessarily have to use the best against the best, but you just have to set up your win condition. All right. So for here, Charizard is just helping me to chip away at Blissey's HP and another thing that I need to add is that Dazzling Gleam being a fairy move is actually uh, weak it's actually resisted by Charizard's fire typing so Charizard that's why I also sent in Charizard to actually resist the fire, the fairy charge move that Blissey had as you can see it took the Dazzling Gleam and didn't really uh, die after after a while after Blissey went to like 3 quarter now Blissey is in the yellow alright and it takes it out with uh, Takes out my, my, my Venusaur, my, my poor Venusaur. And now I'm going to send in my Tyranita. Okay, Tyranita is going to bite and hopefully uh, be able to finish this without getting the Dazzling Gleam from Blissey because that is going to hurt me. That you Look at that, man. That did a bit to my, my Tyranita. Okay, but yeah, Tyranita with the bite, uh, fast animation is going to be able to take out the Blissey. Okay, now we should be moving on to the last defender, and it's gonna be a Kefaber. Oh my god, this beast! Okay, so Kefaber being a fairy typing, uh, I'm just gonna use my Stone Age and try and try and bite as much HP off the Kefaber because I know my Tyranita, I don't have much defenders left, and uh, I'm just going to try and survive. But yes, you can see the uh. 
the Tyranta just goes down and I'm gonna use my Jolteon right now and surprisingly Jolteon actually has quite a lot of DPS look at that and it's really fast charge as well from the Thunder Shock and uh, Thunderbolt just goes down like through the Kofaber alright so now we finish the fight let's have a look at the results and compare okay so comparing the Venusaur and the DPS team we are only left with two Pokemon that are still standing on each of the teams and I think this makes a very good comparison and argument for my hypothesis which is that better typing would always be better than using the same variant of a Pokemon as you can see in the DPS team and now we have the last battle comparison okay uh, we are up against Ludicolo, Slarking, Milotic, Metagross, Tyranita and a Gardevoir oh my god this is quite a solid team as well right so let's see how the Venusaur and the DPS team fare against uh, them all right and now first up is going to be a Ludicolo I'm going to be switching out to uh, Jolteon to get use the neutral electric hits Okay, even though on screen it says not effective, but uh, Ludicolo being water and grass, water is weak to electric and grass resist, that's why it says not effective. But it shouldn't say that, it should say nothing at all, because it's supposed to be neutral. That's alright. We take down we take down the Ludicolo with ease, as you can see, before the solar beam hits us, and we now we're up against the Slarking. Alright, and Slarking is known for its HP and brute strength. If it can get off the uh, charge move, right? So I'm gonna go into Venusaur, and I'm what I'm trying to do over here is that because I'm not too sure what charge move this Slarking has, I went to Venusaur, thinking that you know if it has Earthquake, I will resist uh, being Grass, and if it has Play Rough, which it has Play Rough, I am going to resist that because I'm Poison typing, and I'm going to be able to use Vine Whip, uh, fast action to be able to lower Slarking's HP, as you can see. So I. I'm gonna use a fine a second solar beam before I switch out to my Machamp and quickly use my counter to take down the Slarking. The no the, the interesting thing is that in this I didn't go straight into Machamp because I know that if Slarking uses one play rough my Machamp is dead. So with PvP you have to go and strategize and think about like uh, when you're going to be using certain mods and stuff. Okay, so now up against my Lotic, I'm gonna be using my Jolteon uh, and I'm trying to uh, use and uh, the electric moves to, to chip at the Melotic's HP and stuff. I didn't send in Venusaur straight up because uh, there's always a chance that uh, Milotic has Blizzard and this has Blizzard. So, uh, yeah, I'm now I'm going to be sending in Venusaur because it has already used its charge move. Uh, so I know I'm safe for a while and I'm trying to take it down with the Vine Whip hopefully before the second Blizzard hits. Because Blizzard is only one, it's a one bar move. So the chances of uh, Milotic being uh, able to release it again is not going to be th be that easy. Now we go into Metagross, okay? And yeah, as what we've mentioned in the first episode, uh, Venusaur can't do anything against uh, Metagross. I'm just going to reuse my my charge move and quickly switch into Charizard as you can see over here. Because uh, in the current gym battles, uh, charge move don't carry over to the next. So it's a bit wasted to just switch and then not be able to use the charge move that's why I use the solar beam quickly and go into Charizard as you can see Charizard resists the Metagross steel moves and takes down Metagross with ease now we go into Tyranita and Tyranita is a rock typing right so I don't have anything against the Tyranita I have to go into my Machamp which was specially chosen to deal with, uh, with the Tyranitas and Lapras and anything that's weak against fighting and also the Beasties and Snorlax uh, in our Venusaur team build. As you can see, Macham takes down the Tyranita with ease as well. Now we're gonna go into Gardevoir. And I believe Gardevoir is the last Pokemon. So I'm not gonna use the Macham against it. I'm gonna go into uh, my Kofaber. And the reason I went to Kofaber was because and not Venusaur was because uh, I'm not I gonna I'm not gonna let my Venusaur take the psychic moves from this Gardevoir, right? So I'm just gonna go into Kefaber. I'm trying to lower Gardevoir's 
HP and trying to cast as many charge moves as I can. As you can see, it draws down pretty closely. I think I was lucky because uh, Gardevoir didn't fire as many Dazzling Gleam as how I fired with my Cafe, but I fired like 3 and I got Gardevoir down. So now we're going to do the comparison. And oh my god, look at that. Venusaur team left with 5 Pokemon still standing. And our Dragonite team is only left with 2 Pokemon, <laughs> 2 Dragonites at the end. Yeah, so as you can see, that concludes the comparison video uh, for Venusaur team. And I hope you guys enjoy enjoyed the tips that you guys learned. And maybe you guys can go and try this team out and let me know what you guys think about it. And stay tuned for next episode. See ya!